see, wherever I go, stay ready, stay alert, always prepared for whatever. I see me. There's a seat right here. You can see from all length. I'm ready. It's time to get down to business. Hi, honey. I know you just made it to the library, but love of my life, my hero, my lion, you forgot your A game. So come home, take it, and then you can go and conquer the world, black man. Oh, and one more thing. Would it kill you to just wear some socks? I'm just saying. Love you. And can you bring home some milk? Kill it. Okay. Okay. I'll go back. I'm gonna get my head back. I'm not putting socks on. I'm good. I'm fly. I'm fresh. I'm gonna stop at 7 Eleven for some milk. going on world ds1 ross and we back here on sheep stay sleep tv shout out to everybody who support the platform much love i appreciate everybody for tuning in and we back with another video and in this video i'm gonna speak on elders what is an elder of course we know an elder is a wise person a person who possess wisdom that supposed to give counsel to the men who are below them as far as knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of life. But it seems like, and I know a lot of people, you know, may take some type of offense, but the truth is the truth. And in the Bible, it says that the elders must counsel the youth. So what that means is that the elders must pass the baton An elder is not a leader. An elder is not a leader. An elder is one who sit on the council who helps the leader lead. You see? But also, the Bible also said in the last days that men will be against women. Women will be against men. Fathers will be against their sons. Mothers will be against their daughters. It will be the old against the young. And this is what we have here in this space. We have a bunch of men old men who have not decided to take the reins of being an elder and counseling the leaders. The leaders are the youth. This is why they always say that the children are our future because the children that are being born should be, should be being groomed for leadership. And you know who grooms them for leadership? The elders. The elders. So as your job being an elder, if you have made it to being an elder, you are supposed to pass the baton. You must pass the baton. You must grant 
the young leaders, the young men who will lead the charge of the next generations, you must counsel them. If you are an elder, you are not supposed to be controlled opposition against them. And this is whether you like them or whether you don't. See, this is why there is a bunch of failed black leadership. And I'm going to say the last 40, maybe 50 years. I'm going to say longer than that. But the reason why there's a lot of failed black male leadership, it's because of the elders. It is because you men have decided to check out on the black youth. You have decided to stop grooming the young black leaders who are supposed to take over. Because an elder understands something about legacy. And when you're part of a legacy, your legacy must continue. So this legacy of black male leadership, black male empowerment, black male agency is supposed to be counseled to the young men. You are supposed to make them feel comfortable dealing with you. You're supposed to let them know that you're on their side. You're not against them. You're not out to get money with money from them. You're not out to use them. You're not out to use them to resurrect your life. You understand that you've lived your life. You've accomplished the things you wanted to accomplish. You've done the work. And not only have you done the work, but you've lived a good life. Now it's time to pass the baton. But see, a lot of you dudes don't want to pass the baton because you haven't done the work to gain the results that you always were looking for. And now you want to beat down the youth, the, the leaders, and try to make them feel bad because you didn't do and accomplish what you set out to do. So now you want to choose to stand in the way. Now you want to play Oh, we got to judge and be so judgmental amongst these young men when at the end of the day, you are nothing but a goddamn rock in the middle of the road. You're actually impeding progress by doing that. And it's because you don't want to see any progress because you weren't the one to push the needle. And this is why, this is why you see a lot of failed black leadership in the black community today that we call the black community. It is because there are no elders, only olders, a bunch of old dissatisfied men who are out to just get whatever they could get until they die. And they don't care how nobody feel. They're old, grouchy, selfish men. And this is why there's a lot of young black men out here who are out doing things that they shouldn't be doing. There's a lot of better things that they could be doing, but there's no elders around to give them counsel. There's no elders around to take them in and show them love 
and point out their strong points in life and help them develop a path, help them develop system order and structure, give them a value system to live their life upon so they can stop being so stressed and worried about things and being able to focus on what's important. See, that's what elders are supposed to do. That's what elders are supposed to do. That is the job of the elder. The job of the elder is not to compete with the youth. It's not to prove that they're smarter than the youth. It's not to prove that they're more superior than the youth. It is not to prove that they can still get women. It is not to prove that they can still go out and party and do as much push-ups and do all of that bull stuff. That's not conducive to black men. This is why you have to use the term elder very loosely. Because elders pass the baton. Elders open the door. You see, the elders don't get in the door and close it behind them and make you beg on the door to get in. See, that's not what elders do. That's not what elders do. That's what old miserable men who haven't accomplished the things they wanted to, they're unfulfilled. See, these are the men who have a problem with passing the baton. They want to abuse their power, abuse their strength, impose their power and strength on guys who are under them. These are old miserable men, like I like to call them old battle axe, old setbacks. Because you are not here to propel the cause. You're not here to keep the mission going. You're not about legacy. See, if you're not about passing the baton, you're not about legacy. If the legacy stops with you, then there is no legacy. It's a short-lived one. And see, this is what we have to understand. That is the job of the elders, to pass the baton, to understand, listen, my time is over. This you guys' time. I respect you guys. I love you guys. And whatever you guys need help with, I'm here. Y'all can come to me. See, that's what an elder's supposed to do. That's it. And stay out the way. Stay out of the way. See, if you're not going to be part of the solution, you're going to be a part of the problem, old man. And you don't understand that. Well, it seemed like you forgot. Well, I know you didn't forget. You didn't care. You don't care. But if you consider yourself an elder, in the black manosphere, a true elder. You understand that you must pass the baton. And the black manosphere is here. And the black manosphere have men, young men who are standing up and who are leading. And we are not afraid to lead. But we need the counsel of the elders because we understand that there's a spiritual war out here. And we need to know that our elders, our elderly men, our wise men, our wise warriors have our back, man. Elders, pass the baton. 
like the video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. And remember, brothers, Father's Day is on the way. Get out in the description box. Join this A-game lifestyle. Join this A-game lifestyle. You can easily do that and get your Father's Day gift right down in the description box. Hit the link, type in the promo code SHEEP and the number 10 to get a discount off on your Father's Day gift. Gift your father with a bill of good health. Get down in the description box, hit the link, type in your promo code SHEEP and the number 10 to get a discount off at your checkout. I appreciate y'all for tuning into the video, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. This is A-Game, fast-acting, long-lasting, with no side effects.